<laughs> now you're pulling me back. <laughs>
So for this episode's trail tips, so Minas Ridge is a 10, 11 kilometer hike, depending on how you do it. When you get it actually on the ridge, you can do a loop. So depending on that, it might make it longer or shorter. It's about six hours on a kind of a moderate pace. Um, the one thing to note about this is the gates. So there's a gate at the start, um, right near the highway there, Cameron, Maine. And it's 22 kilometers from the gate to the starting point. So you wanna make sure to plan that in your time because it does take about 45 minutes to an hour to drive out there. The gates close at like 4.30, I think they change this in 6.30. You kind of have to start this one early just because it'll take an hour to drive out there. And you sh should also bring directions on where to park your vehicle. So really make sure you look that up and actually pin it on your map because you won't just be able to go out there and wing it because you you won't find it. The trailhead, like there's no marker, there's no nothing. You just have to park and start walking into the woods. There is a trail, but you'd never find it if you're just winging it. So make sure you plan that out first. Uh, the hike itself is about 760, 780, something like that elevation, meters elevation gain. There's no scrambling, there's no ropes, there's nothing sketchy. There's only one spot which is a little bit kind of steep, which you can see here is this kind of downward slope, which is between Kama Ridge and Minas Ridge. So you actually go up on Kama Ridge first, then you go down to uh, this ravine and then back up on Minas Ridge. And at the bottom there, there's a perpendicular path that goes out to a lookout. And you can see here, this is where the lookout goes to. It's just where I'm standing here with my friends. There's a logging cut and a bit of a clearing. It's, it only takes like two minutes to get out there. It's actually pretty nice. So I'd recommend adding that into your, into your hike. The logging road itself is very nice. It's graded. They bring huge logging trucks out there. Uh, it's flat. You can take basically any vehicle out there. You don't need a four by four or an SUV or anything like that. Uh, depending on the weather, if it's really muddy, then I would recommend you have something with more power, possibly four wheel drive or all wheel drive. But if it's, if it's dry in good conditions, you can bring any vehicle out there. And aside from that, I mean, there's multiple, there's, there's tarns everywhere, there's water everywhere, there's a geocache at the top. It's just a, it's a great hike. If you're doing this in winter, make sure to bring some micro spikes or snowshoes. And you can potentially just go up Kama Ridge if you want to really like a much shorter day. And yeah, that's basically it to this hike. It's, I, I highly recommend it, it's an awesome hike. If you appreciate all the effort that goes into making these videos and enjoy them, be sure to give it a thumbs up because if you don't do that, they don't get shared out to other people. That's just how the system works. And until the next episode, have a great day.